hi everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm going to explain about something very interesting uh, called mcp mc is nothing but model context interaction protocol which is introduced by cloud what is the usage of this let me show you something interesting so before getting into the technical details i'll show you a quick demo then we can go and explore about in details so let's see what i'm going to do is now i'm going to open for that you need a cloud desktop app not the web so you should need a desktop app so you can see here this is the desktop app not this one this is the browser one but both are same but it works different so now i am opening desktop app so you can how do you install you can go and install directly go here cloud desktop app so by tap here and you can install it's a straightforward so let's go here now i'm going to show you something very interesting this is my app it works exactly same how you are using in the web browser so now i'm going to do so now i'm going to operate through my app which is blender 3 so let me open a blender okay for context i'm minimizing both here you can see both screens here this is my desktop one and this is my blender one so let me delete this by pressing x okay so i will explain again how to set up everything in detail for now come here to blender press tap here and come here you can see here this is called blender mcp tap here so you have to do first one if you want you can turn on this is the port start mcp server the moment if you start mcp server its server is running behind 98676 the port and now i am coming to cloud and i am going to ask here can you create a low poly house with simple trees in blender so no extra code nothing we are not doing anything we simply asking normal language so there is no hacks so but exclusively you have to mention a blender because the system will understand what it is i'll show you why you need to mention how it, it bridges between the blender and the clock so now i'm going to do hit enter so here is the thing so when you're running this you should be a bit cautious because you are allowing servers to access your local system so that's the reason every action you need to review so let's see i'm here if you go here read this and malice in malice mcp servers conversation content could potentially trick the cloud into the attempting harmful so basically you need to review what action is happening if you want to see just tap here this is the first tool input it's taking tool basically what happening when you're running here it's not working traditional manner where you're going and taking a bash sorry smash and ext extruding it's not working by human being right it works behind with a python based so if you look at go to in 3d i mean blender if you come back to script technically you can write their code so the cloud is communicating to the script in the behind the blender and it's creating so let's say now i'm going to do allow for this chart excellent so now it's going to create a type cube house base location let's see what will happen you can see here the moment i allowed so now it is so basically the cloud is seeing your blender it's reviewing entire how does it works entire code base entire blender software right so it it is going to access entire your 3d stuff allowing again yes look here this is my simple 3d and you can look here is what step by step happening in behind this so let's come back and uh, layout mode long context extended version of the model you can do this one but this is totally fine so this is my scene so with basic colors everything executed so think like this maybe if model develop if model understanding much better longer context detail things forget about this even you have couple of multiple kits 3d kits where it can go and execute it will create the composition just like how 2d images being generated right similar way so this looks super interesting now let's get back to the main technicality how to install this one how to use this one so let me close everything so claude introduced one nice thing i'll explain some theory here let me go here okay so now this is the cloud right so think this is going to be your desktop app so basically what happened you are installing this app in your local system which has access on llms so which is on server side 
and I mean cloud server side. What are the LLMs? So LLM is nothing but single models. It can be shown at. So there will be multiple models where you can go and choose what kind of model you want. This is the browser. So let's say if you are using cloud on the browser, you can go here and you can access whatever queries you want. You are it's replying to that. Whatever reason it sh as per privacy as per rules and regulations etc it should not access your local system that is for sure right we don't allow so what this guy is introduced based on your requirement so they introduce called server now what it does mcp server is model context protocol so let's this is kind of a bridge so now this is the model context protocol so this is your desktop app so and whenever so this is you user ask query to app and it goes to mcp your model context server this server can go and access multiple places one is your local files you have a couple of local files where it can go and access these files whereas it cannot go directly access this one or from here also it is not possible for instance this is no you can't access local files through cloud you can upload you can take a pdf files or small files you can go and upload to the cloud website and you can ask the things but whereas you have huge database multiple files it's really impossible there is something called projects you can upload certain project let's say you are building a small code or app or game you can upload to the cloud whereas something like similar to chat gpt they, they introduce called projects you can do that but it's still it is very limitation right it's a very limited here its use cases are very great this is the local server so local fi files but now this is my blender let's say this is a my blender now when you connect local any when you connect to mp uh, mcp server to your blender application user asking a query it goes to mcp protocol where then it goes and acts whatever you are asking here let's say create a cube it writes code and it pass through mcp then it will execute here also it will receive data from here to mcp again so you get a mcp so it creates and cloud can see what is happening in the blender this information again will get to cloud and it will understand whether it's executing properly or not so then again user can ask something like a hey this cube is something can you extend make it like a more on square shape then when you give a query again same thing it goes like a loop you can write like a something like a great so whereas one thing right now as i shown before this is happening on your local server right so what this guys develop every action user has to approve for example it can go anything because since it is someone written this script it can go and access something crazy in your it can go on access your local files it can introduce something crazy stuff so that's the reason if they created something very transparent manner hey i am going to introduce some virus to your system can you accept you said you can deny it simple so now for this what do you need so you have a desktop cloud desktop app you have a blender anything above 3 sorry above blender 3 version anything new you can take it so mcp server is nothing don't imagine something it's a big server or something it will be like a simple python script i can show you you just need to install this one before installing how does this whole things works you when you installing you have different kind of package you can go with a pip if you are new to this uh, let me x let me try and show something okay second okay so come here just go to google and type blender mcp server so you get this link I'll anyway I'll attach these links into the comment box. Okay, it's four days back. This updated this Git repo and go down. You can read here straight away Blender MCP model context protocol integration. How to integrate to whatever we explained so far. The same thing. It will same thing. It will do like it will interaction between the bridge between Blender 3D and Cloud, etc. The first thing. So you need Blender 3.0 or newer. So right now I'm using four and Python 3.10 are newer. So here is the thing, UV package manager. What is the UV package manager? You ultraviolet package manager. So if you are not a developer, I think mostly if you see this UI, sorry, um, a thing is mostly it's a in between. If you're already a developer, I think you must be known. You can skip this video. 
if you are artist if you are a newcomer so i'm going to go with a little bit more explanation method so when you installing something for example when you install a python or any other packages you can't go install something huge bundle everything generally what happen whatever needed for your application development or your project development people will generally go and call that particular packages or libraries so people use multiple things let's say and install uv ultraviolets so that's a very important you should need a uv after that what you need to do is this is the server that's what we were discussing server is nothing something don't imagine it's a, such a big thing or you need to do this as such a so many big technical things so go here just copy this one okay mcp server so let me go closer and show you this is the mcp servers this is a common and a blender uvx ultraviolet extender that's the extension arguments blender mcp and close that's it nothing more than that if you are using ide cursor ide so you can go and install if you want to integrate this into the cursor id but i can show you later but right now we can first install with the cloud desktop what you need to do now i'll show you what i did here once you install here for example you install this one first thing first let's go to cloud so go to settings once you go to settings you can see here developer go to developer and this is your right now i'm already installed edit config so this is your config file okay so let me show you let's delete once so i'm going to delete now okay let's switch off blender so let me see here now this is the blender mcp okay we are not started here right now i'm going to remove this one i deleted now okay so let's do it again close it and reopen have you open the cloud go to cloud here okay go to file how to do it but okay i'm not able to drag upper okay you can't see because of my screen recording but whenever you open you can see the claw file cloud okay go here this is how it comes go to settings once you go to settings you will get this one then go to developer then edit config so once you tap the edit config you landed here cloud desk desktop config so open this one in any id currently i'm going to in sublime or you can open wherever you want let me open them here so you can see here by default you get M mcp servers something like this so now come back here you just need to copy this one so come here oh, sorry vs yes, studio so if you see here so let's say before copy pasting you can see right now you have only mcp servers but you are not defined how this M mcp servers are interacting with other application or your local database it could be slack git repo currently we are doing in blender so we are going to do this so now simply copy here and make sure select everything delete the code paste so go save it close it that's all okay so now i'm going to show you interesting thing we have installed blender mcp server but how do you find whether it's installed or not now i'm showing you here you are not seeing here anything so let once i restarted you can see here just above this attachments once i restarted you will be seeing the hammer icon that means once you tap that icon you can go and you can see what are the listed mcp servers installed so let close this and not the close you need to quit and you need to restart you need to open again cloud yes you can see here it was not there now you can see m 12 mcp tools available you need to see what are these 12 tap here you can go and see these are the things see download you can download polyhaven assets blender parameters execute blender code how it is executing behind backend python code using parameters code get object information polyhaven categories you even you can go and ask something like a polyhaven statue so get info do, 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 do. this all assets so these all multiple tools separate tools they develop in under the mcp server so that's all now this is done so cloud and on the host side you install all these things now tool blender application should understand so now you have a mcp server you have a cloud but how does blender will understand this information has to go to the blender come back here 
okay so just like how we were installing any third party add-ons in the blender similar way you can go here download this one add-on.py so tap here and go here download button once you downloaded this is your python package now what i'll do i already installed this one i'll show you so let's delete go here how to install third party plugins go to preferences or any plugins so previously it was very clear now i've just figured out a bit confusing but make sure it's a straight forward go here add on this is what i installed you can see here blender mcp now i'm going to uninstall again i will install okay go here tap right away here install from disk tap this one now i'm keeping downloads this is the add on so you can see the python icon so once it comes so legacy user install then go here and say preference all right you have installed the add on just like any other add ons if you are a blender user you know it's a straight forward once you install you come back press n you can see all installations so now you can see the blender mc now here you are starting the server start the server whereas other cases you can do this with a command start the server and all something which is they given very straight forward here so you just use here if you want to use polyheaven assets there is a back end integration already happen api so tap this one and that's all now you can come here and uh, can you create a beautiful rocks and statue water then using polyheaven with blender so now it's requesting run get polyheaven statue information for blender allow this chart you can see nothing here so running a get polyheaven statue from the blender local it's not able to find what are these assets in the polyheaven so it got statue so it went and searching inside the polyheaven so i found this one this is the model they found it 2k resolution this is the model type boulder you got this one here that's extremely amazing i don't know why it is coming chandelier maybe something i type wrong i'm not sure i just ask statue beautiful maybe it, it it has a keyword maybe beautiful you can see this is integrated with the texture that's amazing install mcp server with the cloud desktop app by edit config file then go to the git repo which is this one so you can download blender add on add on dot py that this is the add on this goes to blender and you have to run the server here if you want to use polyheaven you can run you can check check mark this one then come back restart the desktop app and start communicating with the desktop app that's all thanks for watching guys so if you are liking my explanation and my video please share with your friends and please like and subscribe